everybody doing this um early sunday morning i think it's about 10 o'clock where i am central standard time please check in make sure you like the video hit that like button and also feel free to comment in the comment section and please share the video on your um social media platform for me please and thank you kindly <laughs> but um as i'm running errands this morning i want to talk about some of the comments i've been hearing regarding this r kelly uh situation or should i say ongoing situation um sorry i got the sniffles it's cold here this morning. Went to bed fine. Woke up as soon as I stepped outside. I got the sniffles. <laughs> but, um, anywho, a lot of people, just like me, are doing uh, commentary on the situation. Now, mind you, I'm going I'm to say real quick where I stand on everything. And it's the same place I've stood for many, many years. And that is, I honestly believe that R. Kelly is guilty of a lot of things as far as um, pedophilia, as far as um, having sexual uh, relationships with underage children. Now, I know he's had sexual relationship and encounters with children as young as 16, 17, 18, you know. Um, in a lot of areas, that is a legal age of consent. But, just like back in the day when that video tapes was going around, everybody and their mama saw that video. That video tape. Like, Brother Jay. Uh, would call it including me and I've always said I would never want to see that tape again um, it was one of those things where everybody had the tape it was at house parties it was at your cut in them house at your uncle in them house at your homegirl and homeboy in them house everybody saw the tape and everybody's talking about the tape and it just was so crazy how the whole entire world, everybody who saw that tape, knew that was Kells in the tape, and they knew that the child in the tape looked like she wasn't even at the age of puberty. Now, after watching the TV shows on Lifetime, thank you, Lifetime, by the way, um, a lot of things that a lot of us have always wondered about and thought about and were concerned about and, you know, had mixed feelings about, a lot of the facts is coming to the light. And had we have known years ago that that little girl in that tape, her family, her mom, her dad, and said that wasn't their daughter in the tape. I don't think R. Kelly would have ever got to the level that he had got to. I 
I just believe that. I sincerely believe that in my heart. That he would have never got to the level that he had got to. Now, around that time, he was already famous. I mean, he was already making money. You know, he was well known. Um, all the ladies loved him. Uh, but to hear that so many people were paid off. Like, there's legal documents, legal records of this stuff. There is so much material out there and witnesses I mean on the TV show they're like okay a few of the people a few of the people are kind of sketchy kind of questionable um for the most part I do believe them I do believe them and some people's like oh this person you know that their tears didn't look really real and they're I mean I'm one of those people who can get very, very emotional. But sometimes it's hard for me to cry, you know, when something's really troubling my spirit. I'm, I'm one of those people. And sometimes I'll just break down and cry a river, like Timberlake said. But um, for the most part, again, I do believe those people, I believe the producers, I believe the bodyguards, I believe the security team, I believe, you know, the whole god darn intel. I mean, I believe uh, the young girls. I believe Sparkle. I believe, I mean, I always believe Sparkle. She was the only one who um, stood up for her niece. I mean, I, man, if that was my niece and I for a fact that was my niece. I mean, the girl who had sex with him and the little girl, she knew that little girl's body inside and out. Inside and out. I mean, they knew that was that little girl. They knew that was R. Kelly in that tape. That was on one of the sex tapes that he normally routinely recorded. This man had boxes and boxes and boxes bags, duffel bags full of pornography tapes. <sighs> but that leads me to the title of this video. How a lot of people is um, placing the majority of the blame on the girls. And you just can't do that just can't do that I'm gonna just say people who've never been in a situation where they had to fight somebody off of them or even when they were young and naive and dumb and just was out there trying to be cute and fast because they, they either don't have no guidance or this is the thing to do they see all their other little friends doing it, you know, regardless of how hot and ass some of them little girls was and how they still are to this day, it doesn't give you a right to say them girls should have known. Okay, they should have known, but you're making it seem like He's not at fault because the girl should have known better. We talking about kids who, kids who <laughs> are in the seventh and eighth grade, barely in the ninth grade. And yeah, they probably knew they should be at home in their bedroom doing homework or on the playground playing hopscotch or you know somewhere selling some girl scout cookies i mean yeah they probably knew that but what did he know you talking about a grown man almost 30 years old having sex with 13 14 years old mind you him and Aaliyah got married when he was 15 and i'm about sick and tired of her mama trying to come out the wood works talking about she's not gonna let nobody uh 
hard as her daughter's name, Leah, let's rest in peace. Um, somebody I really, really loved. You know, who didn't love Aaliyah? But for you to say and put out that statement, that BS, I was with her every step of the tour. Me and her father, you know, we was with her every step of the tour. You know, there's no way her and him could have been in a sexual relationship. But they got married behind your back. Why did they get married? Everybody thought they got married just because R. Kelly wanted to uh, not get in trouble for sleeping with an underage child. And so they got married. But then we find out that she possibly was pregnant and had some kind of STD. And I don't know about the pregnancy, but I do believe the STD part. I'm surprised Kels ain't got that package. And I wouldn't wish that package on nobody. I wouldn't wish that package on my worst enemy. And y'all know what I mean when I say that package. I wouldn't wish that package on nobody. This man that has sex with probably thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Yep. Not hundreds. <laughs> thousands. He's having sex with men, women, girls. I mean, threesomes. He done probably had sex with mm, lots of people, y'all. Lots of people. So, as far as the ladies saying, you know, they're going to have something they can't get rid of for the rest of their life, I believe all that. I sure do. I believe all that. Um... I just hate, it just sickens me every time I hear somebody say, oh, well, the girl should have known better. They shouldn't have been there in the first place. There's a lot of people to place blame on, and yes, them girls shouldn't have been there in the first place, but who is the grown person in the situation? Who is a whole grown man in the situation? And the rest of them gr full grown people that was around every day, day in and day out of his life. From producers to, like I said, security guards, bodyguards, um, background singers, dancers. There were so many people around. He had a big entourage. And people would see stuff and just turn a blind eye. I had said in my live the other day on part one and two uh, review with me and Samantha on my sisters from another Mr. segment. A lot of people that you see every day have been sexually abused at a very young age. A lot of people I know <clears throat> has been sexually abused at a very young age. And it's sad because a lot of times like I said, in our black communities, a lot of that stuff gets swept under the rug because the parents don't want to face it or they don't want to believe the child or they don't want their boyfriend or their husband or their family member to go to prison. You know, they feel more sorry for them than they do for the child. So no charges ever get pressed. Or again, like I said, they blame it on the child. Well, you shouldn't have been there. Why was you there? Oh, well, that was my cousin. We was over there playing video games. Why shouldn't I have been over there? Or why, I mean, that's disgusting. That's that's more disgusting to me than, uh, than what he did with placing the blame on the young girls. That little 14-year-old girl that was in that movie, they said he did so many sexual acts to her in that tape. And we saw the tape. It was gross. I know everybody didn't see the tape. That is one tape that you probably would not want to ever see again. That's all I'm going to say. And having that little 14-year-old girl having sex with older girls and older women and him, ain't no telling what all he was doing. Like, he was having threesomes. Um, with men and women. So ain't no telling what all happened to that little girl. That was just one tape. 
they said he took tapes. He recorded everything all the time. So, and then, you know, on that same tape, there was other recordings after that of him alone with the girl. So, ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. But regardless if the women knew they weren't, the young girls knew they weren't supposed to be with him or not, um, R. Kelly was a fantasy to a lot of women. Everybody loves R. Kelly. I mean, everybody. People was infatuated, loved him, just would do anything to meet him because of his music, because of his lyrical genius abilities. Um, he was that guy. That doesn't that 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 guy and so if little girls young girls wanted to get close to him it was like a dream come true like with a lot of movie stars a lot of rappers you know they dream of being close to them hanging out with them kicking it with them you know uh still most of the blame should be put in the right direction which is on the grown people in the situation if any one of them would have spoke up at the right time and just have been courageous and didn't care about the dollars. R. Kelly would have been in jail a long time ago, a long time ago, a long time ago. But anywho, anywho, I'm about to get out this cold car. I've been sitting here in this parking lot. Um, at my favorite place, the cake store, because I have some orders that I'm working on today. And I realized I was running out of some items. Uh, so I'm going to go in here and grab a few things and then get back to handling my business. Um, I don't know if I'll be on live tonight. I don't know. I kind of just want to chill and relax with the kids on this Sunday and cook up a good dinner and relax and watch some sports. Uh, but I know for sure I'm coming at you live tomorrow night because I want to do the review with Samantha, you know, and our uh, sisters from another Mr. Um, review segment on part three and four, I think, or whatever the last parts were. Excuse me. Bless me again. Or whatever the last parts were um, to the R. Kelly uh, Surviving R. Kelly series. So we'll do that tomorrow night, Monday evening. So um, you guys, you have a blessed day. Um, if you're working today, don't work too hard. If you have the day off, please try to enjoy this Sunday. And if you're at church, please pray for a sister because I had to miss church this morning because I mixed up my schedule and I thought my orders yesterday were due around 1, 1.30 and I thought my orders today were due around 6 p.m. <laughs> so, um, thank goodness I verified uh, yesterday. Excuse me. Good thing I verified uh, yesterday, um, but it was too late. Uh, to get some of the items that I needed for my orders today. So I had to get up early this morning and wait till the store open and thinking I had till six this evening. So I was going to play. Um, I was going to go to church, get out of church around one, come home, you know, cook dinner and then, you know, go and uh, do my cakes. Didn't work like that. So what I'll be doing um, is watching church <laughs> because on my phone or on my computer because our church does go live. Um, our church services go live so we can watch them when we're not there. So anyway, um, you guys, I will see you later. Um, again, enjoy your day. And again, Happy New Year's. Again, to the people who I haven't wished Happy New Year's to. And in the meantime and in between time, Prime Time Squad, stay safe. Be blessed and I'm out.